Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about how to use noise cancellation or noise reduction if you are in Linux. Now I did create a video for this about two years ago. A point to note is it only works with distributions that use Pulse Audio, which today I don't think any distribution does. Two years ago this wasn't the case. And I had a whole method on how to remove noise cancellation if you are on Pulse Audio. But today we are on Pipewire. Most of the distributions are. And so the first step that you would want to do is actually make sure that your distribution is running on Pipewire. So open the terminal and type in PACTL space info, hit enter, and you should be able to see a couple of information on the screen. So the thing to look out for is server name. And even though it mentions Pulse Audio, you actually see that it is running on Pipewire version 1.0. So the software that we're going to talk about today is Easy Effects. This is an amazing piece of software. It's not that complicated to use. It has a ton of functionality that you might want to use if you know your way around audio engineering. So let's go ahead and let's talk about how we can actually include noise reduction into our audio stream. So there are three tabs, output, input, and pipe wire. We're going to be considering only the input tab. Inside the input tab, there are two tabs, recorders and effects. So we go to the effects tab and we click on add effect. You can see a ton of options over here for multiband compressor, noise reduction, loudness, limiter, gate, expander, echo canceller, deesser, compressor, bass enhancer, auto gain ton of things, but today we're looking for noise reduction. Let's go ahead and let's add noise reduction. And you can see voice detection is enabled and it's using RNN noise by default. Now, the next step is to go over to the recorders tab and to enable the application that you would want to use it with. In my case, this is OBS. I actually have all of my filters directly in the OBS filters. So I go to filters and you see I have a few filters that I use and I tend to typically avoid noise reduction or noise suppression because it distorts my audio just a little bit that I don't really like it and I have stopped using it especially after buying this microphone but if you are in an environment where there is a ton of noise and there is nothing you can do to remove that noise for example I tell my family members to shut up and I close all my windows and doors but that's not going to be the option for every person, right? So you can include, by the way, noise suppression inside of OBS. It uses the exact same technology, RNN noise, but this is only for OBS. If what if you want to use any other software, like for example, Discord, which I don't think Discord has crisp integration in Linux. So that's a use case which you might think about. Anyway, let's talk about OBS for today because that's what I am using and I want to include this suppressed audio, this noise suppressed audio into OBS. So I click on this three little buttons, three little dots, and I go to properties and I select the source. You can see the default is HyperX SoloCast Analog Stereo. I change it over to Easy Effect Source. Now, this step is similar for whatever app you use. Let it be Zoom, uh, Discord, Hyper, uh, not Hyper, Teams, Microsoft Teams, anything. You have to select Easy Effect as your source. You have to click on OK. And after this step, I do think noise is being suppressed. And you can see that if I am speaking, it shows a waveform, which does mean that audio is being passed through from this app into OBS. Turn on my fan real quick. I have turned on my fan and I'm also going to write something on the keyboard the quick ground box jumps over the lazy dog. My laptop is really old. Even the waveform stops when I'm typing. Let's change it to hyper. And now you can hear my actual fan noise. So let's go ahead and enable this effect. And this should be okay. So this does get enabled whenever you choose easy effect as a source. And now if I type, you shouldn't be able to hear it. Maybe a little bit of the vibrations, which the mic is picking up, but uh, the fan noise should totally be removed. Even if not 100%, it should be removed. And at the same time, my audio should sound a little bit distorted because 
uh, removing noise from the environment is a is not a perfect task by any means. It, it does give you very good results, and it's going to be perfect for Zoom classes, for meetings. But if you want to record, and if you want to sound like somebody speaking inside a studio, that's not going to be the case. So let's just turn off my fan and let uh, let's go back to the HyperX solo cast. So right now, I think uh, this is how my voice started. This is how my voice sounded at the beginning of the video. And this is how I sound right now. I'm not going to be able to tell uh, a lot if it actually created a ton of difference. I only had the waveform to look at. But I'm going to go through this audio in editing and you guys can tell me down in the comments how it sounded and if you want to use this kind of software. Anyway, if you have a ton of noise, this is going to be very useful for you, especially for meetings, classes, if you have your kids shouting in the background, this is going to be such a lifesaver. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.